Hey guys, in this video we'll discuss about the WP scan which is for WordPress scanning. So WP scanning it's a like a vulnerability scanning tool which comes pre-installed in Kali Linux. So the scanner tools scan for vulnerabilities in website that run WordPress, uh, that web engine. So we know about that WordPress. So WordPress it's basically a CMS. So it's content management system. We can create the website and there are lots of uh, vulnerabilities as well. So we have to open the terminal and uh, as we know very well uh, the WP scan is already uh, that installed in Kali Linux. So in WP scan uh, there are lots of options also. So by pressing that hyphen H we can uh, see the uh, lots of options. So like the verbose mode, output file, uh, format, max thread we can uh, put. Uh, disable TLS checks so if you got any uh, error related to the TLS so we can use that hyphen hyphen disable you can use that proxy cookies and the API tokens and for enumeration there are lots of options like for example if you put hyphen E and uh, sorry hyphen hyphen enumerate uh, then W then VP it's uh, for vulnerable plugins all plugins popular plugins vulnerable themes and we can put uh, that as per our convenience also that uh, for example hyphen hyphen enumerate and we want to uh, enumerate only that uh, vulnerable plugin and all plugins so we can put that vp ap or p for the popular themes so hyphen hyphen exclude content based uh, plugin detection mode uh, and then username list and all so now if i want to uh, that scan the website so just add wp scan then hyphen hyphen url and i have already a website uh, which running uh, that wordpress blocks so just paste and just click on enter so after the entering uh, it's asked about the databases so if your databases is uh, like not updated so you have to update so you can see uh, the options that yes or no so just press y and enter so then uh, your wp scan will automatically update it and uh, yes that update completed and it's starting uh, the identify the vulnerabilities so we uh, didn't mention anything uh, related to enumeration so basically by default uh, it scan like all parts so in interesting findings uh, there are some headers so we got that apache 2.4.18 is running so the server uh, details then xml rpc seems to be enabled so we can see and we can try to that brute force attack through this xml rpc then wordpress readme found and in readme found uh, that readme.html file we can uh, like easily uh, check that uh, what wordpress version is running on uh, the particular that website then external wp uh, clone seems to be enabled so uh, that clone files uh, it found by wp scan then wordpress version is 4.1.31 now we can uh, try to find out the exploit to this particular that version then wordpress theme and uh, enumerating all plugins so no plugin found that's mean uh, there is no vulnerability in plugin so we can't exploit or we can't uh, like get access to uh, like uh, the data or login panel through this plugin enumerating config file and no config backup then uh, no WP scan API token. Now we can uh, register on WP scan website and create or can download the API. And uh, we have uh, that only five APIs, or we can scan the five times uh, that website scan. Or and if you want more, then you can create uh, that with the new email ID. Then it's finished. And now if I want to uh, that enumerate uh, that other things, so just add that hyphen e for enumeration that ucp plugins and themes just hit enter now it's enumerating uh, that user via passive and aggressive methods uh, so brute force or author id so we can uh, see that user identify the gold in a person found by rss uh, the generator and the user is c0 ltd h u c o and then uh, philip 
so we got the three uh, users detail on a next video we'll see like how can we uh, brute force or how can we bypass that login panel of the wordpress so that's enough for the today uh, we'll discuss in next video about the brute forcing of the wordpress login so see you soon